I see Mufin watched our previous episode and has learned from Muma. Muma didn't expect that his own technique would be used against him. Both of these members of the Boston Uprising are now transmitting the perfect frequency to penetrate Muma's mind. Okay, Muma. It's nice to see that all of the outlaws are on the same page, moving through this choke. Yep, continue to be on the same page. Are we, are we going to the right, boys? Because Muma just went through center. The plan has fallen apart already, and we're not even 10 feet from spawn. Muma has the nano. Muma has the shatter. So does Axiom. He's just Wing. The, the man cannot be stopped. He's looking for me among- and he's shadow the shield. Oh no. You hate to see it, team. And now guess what? It's Axiom's turn, boys. Anti shat what? What the fuck? Axiom, I'm gonna need to steal your viewpoint here and figure out what the fuck just happened. Okay, we've got the advantage. Muma's currently your bitch. Going for the left hand side. Oh, and a little bit over. That's gotta hurt. Into the corner. He's really shown the geometry. Who's fucking bossy? Is he this icicle? That was previously fired by Dante. Now it knows. Now it knows Axiom's in charge. That is one stunned icicle. Jesus fucking Christ. Why would you do this? I don't know why Mecho's on the off angle right here. Could have eaten that fire strike, but whatever. Why aren't you eating this fire strike? Come, this is like your main job as the diva. Just eat the fire strikes. Come on, brother. Both these divas are... Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm walled up, boys. This must mean Axiom Charge. What's he doing? He gets flashbanged mid-charge, just in case isolating himself wasn't enough. Now, here comes the charge from Muma. Of course, the counter charge. I can see from here that this is perfectly aimed. Turns out it was not perfectly aimed, but don't worry. The ice block is killed at- What the fuck? Did he get him with a 50 shoulder bash damage? Okay, it really do be that way sometimes. See, they tease it at first. They allow Myung Monk to think that maybe I will get hit by the hammer, but no. Fear does not phase this man. He is a rock. He is the stone upon which these very strategies are carved. Okay, we're not covering any ground right now. There we go. We're actually engaging. Myung Bong making an early engagement right here. Goes for the floor nade and everyone else engages. Are we using sound barrier? We are using sound barrier, but where are we using sound barrier? Oh, this is bad. The wall on... The sound barrier. Fantastic. This means that Jerry and Myumbong both don't get the sound barrier and are trapped in here with uh with Dante and Muma? Where's everyone else? Ah. Good job, guys. Good to see that you're uh, you're helping. Now, Jerry looking to execute Muma. Is is he dead dying? Is he dead dying? Surely not. And then Wally dead dies? Wally fucking dead dies? Myumbong's like, don't worry guys. I'll combo this Deadeye with a Biotic Rifle Shot. Now this is the big gamer move. <laughs> we gotta wake him up, you see. That's the only way to win this particular Deadeye combo. Imagine what it could have been if you got the free kill on Muma by not panicking and waking him up. That would have been very fun. That would have been very fun. What are you about to slam? He's anti They're on a walkway. He He's alone. He is one versus four right here. Well, let's see how it goes. Oh, he does get raucous. Blase has rolled around the back. Is he going to give him the pocket sand? Oh, doesn't even need the pocket sand. Okay. Big fire strike. Hits four, actually. Including Mufin, who's supposed to be fucking eating them. Just f W. How did you go over the fence? Press W. Oh, my goodness. No. And now your team have no shield. What have you done? Axiom now... No, Color Hex, you decide to blizzard into this. No. You know what, what counters this blizzard? Pressing the D key. Pressing the S key. Pressing the S key. Or it could just be eaten. You know. It's the long yeet, boys. The long yeet. And the wall. And they're walled off. Excellent play, Boston. Well done. Wait, wait are you barriering? Why are you barriering? They're all up there! Fucking only Axiom's here! Mooma's frozen. You still got a nano on fucking Mecho who's in the back. He's not gonna go. What the fuck are you doing? You're hunting Myumbong. Why are you barriering? Uh, now we can get very aggressive by, I guess, jumping? Mecho's gone. Where, where the fuck is Mecho? Give me the overlay. Okay, he's back here. Wait, what? Is he in the sky somewhere? 
Oh, he's a, he's a monster of a plant, so I should have known. The true camouflage. My man is so far back in Africa right now, he's checking out the local cuisine in fucking Zimbabwe. Little do they expect. The tree was their enemy all along. Even the very vegetation has turned against the Boston Uprising. You see, this is a very... This is an ancient tactic passed down over generations. Here's the continuum, team. First, you hit a four-man anti-grenade. This is critical. This is the main crux of a plan. You hit the four-man anti. You see Mooma come through. You disengage rather than wall him in with four anti-teammates. And then you give up all this space for free. Perfect execution for the Boston Uprising. Here comes the Blizzard. From Dante. Onto Axiom. As you can see right here, Color Hex is attempting to freeze the enemy Blizzard. Another ancient technique that only Huck has been able to discover so far. The perfect May play, everybody. I think the mech actually died, so he's fine. Will die to the Fire Strike, probably. He misses the Fire Strike. He misses the Fire Strike. Okay, and then Jexa gets slept. Moomer is now unable to try and kill the Mini Diva, allowing her to remek later unless Mecho can do something. But <gasps> Mecho is a god. That is a simple fact. He ignores the Diva. Mecho ignores the enemy Diva after knocking off Myumbong and allows him to remek because he needs to try and matrix the Blizzard, which has already hit the ground. What? How did both of you fuck up on killing Mufin? Okay, here we go. Axiom comes out, scouts, evidently sees Mecho, and then evidently does not feed back this information to his team, even though he's currently pointing his shield at fucking Mecho. At this point, Dante actually walls in Mecho with the enemy team. An innovative strategy in itself, forcing Mecho to need to make an escape. They've now wasted their wall. This is perfect play from the Outlaws. Uh, they wall off... I assume Swimmer? Watch in real time as Dante removes the threat of a staircase from this map. Swimmer is already wall riding. Myumbong's over here now. What will the Boston Uprising possibly do? Oh, they'll use it for high ground. Huh. Thanks for the help, Dante. Very nice of you. Give it to me, Sly. Okay. So here's what happens. Muma is low. Muma puts his shield up to protect himself while he's low. Muma eats a headshot while fire striking. Muma eats more shots while fire striking. Muma dies. Muma just feeds. He feeds. That, that's the uh, that's the only way I could. What? Why? Because of course. Why wouldn't your Anna run through the side here, away from the rest of the team, to get the four man anti? This right here is called a big dick trade. You trade a four man anti for your entire life. The war. Will they drop in time to get slammed? These are the questions we must answer in the next few seconds. The slam comes down. Blase jumps into the slam. Bla Blase, what? With the nano, jumps into the slam. I don't even know where he came from. What the fuck? Blase, ease from the high ground. Ease from the high ground into the slam and is the only one stunned. So Axiom could have entirely failed this stun and just stunned his maze ice wall. But no, Blase is like, don't worry, bro. You've embarrassed yourself enough. I've got you. Allow me to show you my special move. Comes in, gets himself stunned. They don't hit him with the charge. They used the dead eye instead through the gap in the wall. And here comes the charge from Axiom now. Thank you for your ult. It was Mooma does not Mooma does not kill Mufin. Mooma doesn't know where Mufin is. My friend is behind you. Mooma has now discovered Mufin. Mooma backs away. He goes instead for the charge on the ice block and it's the corner. <laughs> oh no! No, surely not. You cannot make this shit up. At this point, Color Hex now solo blizzards for remaking Diva. What? But why? Uh, as you can see, a highly effective blizzard from Color Hex. My man took icicles to both of his knees. You see, Dante's aim is actually very knee specific. The man trained in the PvP service of Skyrim for decades. Of course. I can hear my man Muma preparing for a charge. Why not? You will kill at least five people by doing this. You go, man. You go. Let's see, Mooma. Never mind. 
at this point, Axiom begins channeling his Earth Shatter. Dante counters this by getting shattered out of a blizzard. A classic move from the Houston Outlaws. What the fuck are you doing, you actual clown? Surely not! <gasps> Let me see that one again. What the fuck? Okay, the slam. Prepare the blizzard. Dante knows exactly how to play this one. Instead of ice blocking or walling, the ice block was available. Instead, no. The answer is the blizzard. He gets knocked out of a blizzard. The ult is wasted. And Dante gets stunned. Very Dante of you. So, for some reason, um, Jerry is 1v2ing Mecco and Blase. Science cannot explain this. Uh, Mecco knocks Jerry out of Blase's punch. What? The punch is being lined up. Mecco knocks him aside to give him the safety that he needs. The perfect team play between Outlaws and Uprising. He still dies. The slam comes through. Swimmer, seeing the slam, decides, I want a piece of that action. Dives in. Almost dies to it. He goes straight into the center. What? He puts him down to 50 HP, gives Blase the extra shields. Cheers, bud. Very cool. Boops Blase out of a fire strike <laughs> while he's sleeping. Here comes the charge. Mooma coming in from the back. Color Hex has no idea, boys. He misses Color Hex. He goes too far. Look at this. He drifts alongside it. No. He had such a good lineup. Watch as the art comes through. Also, Color Hex right here. Here's the Rhine charging. Turns away. Mooma gets the perfect angle. But then, no. He turns to the right. He thinks that this is the play. It is not the play. He does not connect properly with Color Hex and knocks him away instead. Axiom, at this point, goes for the counter charge on the wall. Perfect execution from both rights. Mufin repositions to be ready for the dive. Swimmer shield bashes off the building. An interesting technique developed in the mountains of Nepal with the ancient tribes of the Mason Shield. This is the kind of shit that got Swimmer picked up. This leaves Jerry almost defenseless after he uses his first flashback. Following this fight, Swimmer's ultimate charge stands at 36%. At this rate, it will take him four and a half minutes, at least, to generate a rally. You see, if you look at this closely, team, this is actually what we like to call an intimidation leap. Mooma goes for the leap here, knowing that Axiom will try and do something about it. So seeing Axiom, he goes for the leap, gets knocked halfway through, hits a little bit of masonry. Jerry, knowing that Winston comes in, gives up the high ground, but it was a trick all along. He was never going to the high ground. It was a zoning leap. Now Mooma can safely cuddle the health pack. Myeongbong is still alive! He was, he was being dived by like five people. What happened? Guys? How did Myungma survive this? Okay, he gets shielded here. Blase and Mooma are both here, as is Mecco. My they, they, they just ignore him. My Myungbong's here the entire time, and they just ignore him. Mooma disengages. He's going for Color Hex for some reason. My Myungbong's still here. One eternity later. Still free healing. Here's the rally. And of course, the 4 minute and 30 second mark. Axiom is returned. What? Ah, oh, once again, the shot to the knee, boys. This is for Dante special. The Skyrim PvP has served him well. Axiom goes for his own charge right now. Of course, inside Axiom's mind, the premier target of the three available is the Torbjorn Terror. He misses the Torbjorn Terror. This is the critical part of the dive. Misses the whip shot. The engagement comes, Mufin comes to help. Swimmer backs up. Wait, Mooma misses the dive. Excuse me? Oh, he gets hit by Mufin midway through. He doesn't W hard enough, hits the skybox and misses the dive. Mooma is now helping. Dan what? Dante gets charged. Axiom is on the bridge. He doesn't see where Jexo goes. Now, of course, the best way to stop this dive, jump off the bridge and go for the skill cap play. He can see there's no one on the point. It is time to zone as he has never zoned before. Begin zoning. Dante 
drops down, unaware, clueless, until the Minecraft hits. Don't do Minecraft, kids. Now, the blizzard on the monkey, I think. Moomba Pop's Primal Rage gets the fuck out of there. Because you blizzarded a corridor, you fucking idiot! What are you doing? It's inside a shield as well! What? Excellent usage here from Color Hex. There is the EMP. Gets four people. Five people. Myumbong. Soon to be dead. Color Hex. Hacked. Jerry. Hacked. Axiom. Hacked. Muffin. Already channeling self-destruct, but also hacked. Now, witness. Glory. Blase. 53 HP, draws out the blade, has a pocket from Jexe, isn't getting healed, goes into Swimmer, goes for the first slash, misses the second, avoids the shield bash. Muma shield here. Crucially important. Second slash. Gets hit in the noggin. Absolutely destroyed. 2 out of 10. Unsubscribed on YouTube.